So the rumor of Devil May Cry 5 has been happening for almost probably about a year and we got the reveal that the, finally the game is actually in existence and it was being developed and it's ready to go to be shown off and it was shown off at, at the Microsoft press conference at E3. Now they're here at Gamescom and I know we only got a small preview in regards to a, a little bit of a teaser trailer in regards to Devil May Cry 5 but now they have a full-fledged trailer that they're ready to show off to us that hopes to give us more info on what is going to be taking place. Now they, it looks like uh, that the characters from Devil May uh, Cry 4 will be returning uh, in Nero and Dante. But let's see what else is in store for these characters and seeing if there might be some other special guests that have been in past games, like maybe his brother Virgil. I'd love to see him get in, back introduced into the franchise. So let's see what the heck is going on in this world and what is the world is going on. So uh, take on your headphones, whatever you're going to listen to, and let's watch this trailer. So here we go. Why is he using a payphone? <laughs> I don't get that at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know I got you covered, asshole. <laughs> These trailers are so weird. Get us killed on the way just because they're so Japanese. Like, why would you call her on a payphone? Ooh, combat. Nice. Oh. Whoa. He really brings down the house. That's why he's good for parties. Oh, he's grabbed his tail. A little old school Mario action. I like the music. Was... Nice. What? Perfect timing. Oh, here's Dante. No, that's sick. His bike turned into his weapon. That's cool. I like that. Whoa, March. I thought this would be like a year out, maybe. Um, March is turning out to be a, a terrible season to release games. It probably they're probably releasing it because of the fiscal year. Most companies' fiscal year ends at the end of March, but March is really becoming a packed part. Fe like literally, February and March is going to become a competition beast for games. And I think some people are going to get booted out or try to move away because there are just too many games for February through March. But man, that was a good trailer. Um, I think it pleased anyone that was a past Devil May Cry fan with the music, the stylish, just how the trailer was put together. Uh, it truly 
showed that Devil May Cry is back to its origin and how it how it was shown off to be. Um, and I think I was kind of saying that is that it's very stylish. It's extremely stylish, and they showed it in the trailer of that they have fun, and that's the whole point of it. And I I, I think them bringing that back as well is a really good thing, a good sign to show that this game could be the next best Devil May Cry for them. Uh, I have played all the Devil May Cry games so far, and I I like this route. It is the only thing I will say as a constructive criticism, it's very old school in regards to how the combat works so far of what we've seen. I don't know entirely how the combat works, but just it seems like it's a little dated in that way with just updated graphics and better animations, but it's still... It, uh, from not playing it, it comes off as still a little old school. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because what was back then still works today and people still love it today. So to each their own. But uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I, we didn't see any Virgil in there, and I hope Virgil shows up in this game somewhere. And there's not really much anything on the story that we learned. But what did you think about the trailer? Does this get you hyped for Devil May Cry? If you're a fan of the original Devil May Cry series, is this the thing you were looking for to bring you back? Or um, if you're new to the Devil May Cry series and never seen it or never played it, is this interesting enough to you to, to pick up the game and play it in March? Also, what do you think about the release date? Uh, do you think that game is going to move its date or other games are going to move its date? Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this co this content, check out the rest we have on Freeze Frame Rate. Go ahead and give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you want to keep up with everything I release each week here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mitch, and I'm signing off saying see you soon.